Morning, everyone. This is Jeremy Fenema, Director of Internet Services and Training, and I'm coming to you with the week number three of my video podcast about different topics that I want to talk to you guys about. So this week, as you can see, we are talking about MA Web Centers. So uh, as you guys know, uh, I head up a number of different areas inside of Market America the Financial Services Division. We've been talking about for the last couple of weeks with MA Capital Resources. One of the other areas that I work with is the Internet Services Division. One of our main products is the Web Center product, which is, again, a uh, comprehensive website solution for small to medium-sized businesses. So that's what we're going to talk about this week. So um, as you may or may not be aware, we've come out with a lot of new things lately, uh, especially related to social media. Um, we know that businesses are looking to leverage social media these days. Uh, we want to be their resource for leveraging social media and being a comprehensive internet marketing solution for them. Uh, the days are long, long gone that uh, all you needed was a website with some content on it and your contact information and you were good to go. That is so far away from what uh, a business needs now. Um, the very most important things about a, a, about a website are a that it's dynamic content that's always being updated so that it's current so that people are getting the information that they need uh, when they go there that it's interesting that it's engaging that that there's current information up there it can't be a static site that just sits there and every time you look at it, it has the exact same information because you're not going to keep going back there if that's the case. And their business isn't like that, right? Their business is not static. Their business is changing at least on a seasonal basis. More than likely, it's changing at least uh, usually on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Uh, you take a restaurant, for instance. Uh, most restaurants change the menu on a regular basis. Uh, they may not change it uh, every week or every month, but generally there's something that changes on uh, on at least a quarterly basis the most restaurants will have a daily special so there should be something that's changing on their website every single day uh, showing what the special is for the day for instance or you know what their special catch is or whatever it is every business knows that interest and uh, and uh, uh, liveliness and uh, change is important for the business to keep customers coming back and keep them interested and keep them going on. So the website should do that. The website should have the functionality to be able to do that, to be dynamic and be able to change as often as the business is changing. But in addition to that, you have this new concept of social media that kind of plugs into that idea, which is really important because social media is something that gets messages out to people very, very quickly. You think about things like uh, Facebook and Yelp and Twitter and Groupon, right? Um, you have all of these different social media platforms uh, and social media environments for business owners these days. And the problem is most of the business owners don't know what to do. They're completely lost. They have no idea where to start. They don't really understand what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. They're just completely lost. Well, that's why we have a team of social media experts that work with the business owner to be able to teach them everything that they need to be able to leverage social media. So if they don't know how to set up a Twitter account, fine, we'll help them do that. If they don't know how to set up a Facebook fan page for their business, we'll help them do that. If they don't know how to integrate those into their website, well, we have tools that plug those social media pieces right into their website so that it becomes seamless integration. Um, so people can like their business right from their website that ties into their Facebook page that then starts doing viral marketing for them. Because, see, if I like something, see, right, if I'm on Facebook and I see something out on a website and I like it, right? Well, then all my friends see that I like it. So then they go and check it out, and then they like it, and then their friends like it as well because they see it and they like it. So you start to have this marketing that's happening that's completely outside of your control as a business owner, which is exactly what you want. You want that sort of new word of mouth uh, marketing. Uh, see, in, the, in this day and age, social media is the new word of mouth marketing. 
right? It used to be that uh, when you liked something and you were talking to your neighbor and they said, you know, oh, that's a really pretty dress or whatever, <coughs> then you said, oh, yeah, I got it in such and such a place. And they said, great, I don't know. And they went and got something similar, not exactly the same, right? That was word of mouth marketing. And it's still very powerful. It's, it's, it's incredibly powerful, that personal testimonial about how something has been good for you or how you've liked something. It makes a big difference. I forget exactly what the statistic is, but it was something like 76% uh, or something of uh, reluctant and budget-conscious budget shoppers are positively influenced to buy by peer-reviewed content big words, but what that means is um, if I saw something and I didn't have the money to buy it and it wasn't in the budget to buy it, but I read it, a review, and somebody said, I bought this thing and it was awesome and it changed my life and it was fantastic, they would go and buy it even though they didn't have the money, even though it wasn't in the budget. They would still buy it because of the positive review, because of that word of mouth reinforcement that this is something that they should get. Now, that's where social media is so powerful because that's exactly what it does. It's the new word of mouth, right? Except it's a word of mouth in a way that you can't physically do, right? Because the technology is moving faster than your lips can move and reaching more people than you could physically talk to in any reasonable amount of time. Business owners want to take advantage of that. And that's why within the Web Center program we have... Uh, these social media consultants that help them learn how to take advantage of these things, learn how to make use of the social media avenues that are, that are out there, and help them become, uh, uh, help them integrate social media into their internet marketing efforts so that their website and their Facebook and their Twitter and all these things become a, a comprehensive, cohesive solution for them rather than a bunch of disjointed things. So that's my tip for today. Um, I highly encourage you to go out and start talking to business owners that you know. Find out if they're leveraging social media. Um, if they're not leveraging social media, ask if they'd be interested in talking with someone to find out more about how to leverage social media effectively in their business. So thanks again for watching my podcast and stay tuned for more. Have a great day.